coverage you can count on continues with Glenn Marini's Sports Report. Sports coverage you can count on. The NFL Draft kicks off tonight, and for the Colts, both Phillip Rivers and Jacoby Brissett, their contracts are up after this season. So, it would make some sense for Indy to grab a young quarterback at some point. The last time the Colts actually drafted a QB, and that was back in 2012. They took Andrew Luck first overall, then snagged Chandler Harnish two days later with the final pick of the draft. That pick, it's nicknamed Mr. Irrelevant as the last pick, but as a QB, as the last QB the Colts have actually drafted, we found out this Norwell grad is anything but irrelevant. We catch up with Chandler in this week's Throwback Thursday, brought to you by Optimum Performance Sports. The 253rd pick and the last pick is... Uh, Man, you talk about just such a, a surreal event, you know, that the Indianapolis Colts were calling you. You're watching it live on TV. Chandler Harnish, quarterback, Northern Illinois. A whole lot of words didn't come to my mind at the time. I'm usually a pretty talkative person, but I was speechless there for a second. To, to get it from the Colts of all teams, you, you would never expect it because they did draft Andrew. You know, in the later rounds, you start getting phone calls from other teams. And I was getting calls from teams like the Minnesota Vikings, Kansas City, and San Diego. We got to the point right there at the end that it was going to be San Diego, like a priority free agent where you would sign right after the draft is over. We were going to go off to San Diego and, and, and uh, be a, a backup to Phillip Rivers and learn. And, you know, the, the plan was completely changed right there at the last second. So, uh, but nonetheless, it was, it was probably that much more fun because it was such a surprise. It was just uh, really a dream come true. And uh, it's great to get drafted. You, you want teams to want you. You want somebody to put their stamp on you. And uh, the Indianapolis Colts did that today. This is kind of a surprising answer, but that was the, the Colts was the last team I wanted to, to go to. Um, because I had such a, an affinity for the Colts. I grew up with those Peyton Manning years, so I was, you know, naturally he was a role model of mine. Um, you know, I had posters of Reggie Wayne and Peyton Manning, Dwight Freeney, Robert Mathis. I, I had these guys in my bedroom, and I was a huge Colts fan. And, and I remember telling people leading up to the draft, I'll play anywhere. I just I don't really want to go to Indianapolis because the added pressure, family, friends, all that kind of stuff. So, so when the Colts did call, you know, Ryan Grigson, the general manager at the time, said, you know, how, how do you feel about being becoming an Indianapolis Colt? And I said, heck yes, let's go do this. But deep down, I was like, oh my gosh, what am I getting myself into? From the 33, dropping to throw his Chandler Harnish again. Pressure coming. He lost one deep, intended for Jeremy Ross. Touchdown! What a throw by Chandler Harnish! You know, typically I go into a situation always fighting for that starting spot. But in a situation like this, you just know that it was closed. It was a closed deal. You weren't beating out Andrew Luck, period. Uh, and this was something I always respected Chuck Pagano for. He would always say, make yourself, you know, so valuable to this team that we just cannot, you know, cut you. We cannot release you. Make yourself so valuable. So I would try to do the little things. Go, go, go. Ultimately, I think it was a true blessing in disguise just to be able to be close uh, to family and friends and have that support staff so near. You know, I was able to sneak home on Friday nights and watch Pearson play at Norwell, you know, my little brother. So uh, th those were some cool moments that you never get back and I would have never had had I been in San Diego or Kansas City or something. After being drafted, Chandler spent two seasons on the Colts practice squad, then played for the Minnesota Vikings and was in camp with the Cardinals. Our full interview with Chandler is posted on the Wayne.com sports page. Now